Check this out. We have a simple web application written in PHP, and it's very simple, really. It is a user upload thing where users can upload files and they're stored locally in a static folder. And first things first, we check whether the request is post. If it is, we take the file and we basically save it under the temporary name. Now, in normal scenarios, this wouldn't be temporary. For example, we will have the actual name, but for this case, it's actually very safe. So it's a temporary name. And after we save the file, we check whether the file extension of that file is PHP. If it is, we call unlink function, which will basically unlink or delete the file and just say, hey, PHP files are not allowed. Otherwise, it's going to say, hey, the file has been successfully uploaded. Here is where you can visit it. But would you believe me that there is a critical vulnerability here that allows me to execute remote code execution? And today I'll show you how it is. But before we get started, if you want to learn hacking, then check out my course, which is down in the description box below. Now let's get started with the video. Okay, so we're not actually going to be using this website right over here. We're going to be using the Ports Rigger Lab, which YouTube, don't worry about it. It is a website intended to be hacked. And also make sure to be ethical and responsible because it is very important and vital for all of us to be ethical on the internet and report any findings you get because it's better to get reward rather than jail time. So let's get going. So this is how it works. It is a web shell upload via race condition. And basically how we have the PHP website and our goal is to see the contents of the file called slash home slash Carlo slash secret. Now, my guess is this is how the website looks like behind the scenes, but you know, we can't know for certain, but we also have the temporary username and password to log in. So let's get going. So the website looks like this. We have the my account and we get to upload the file. And thankfully, I've already done that here in the burp suit. And as you can see, we have basically just, for example, test and we can upload login to the JPEG, which contains just test, nothing too crazy about it. And once I click send this basically request alone. So let me get it out of the group. So let's click send. And as you can see, it says the file avatar slash login to the JPEG has been uploaded. And back over here, we can basically send this and get the contents of it, which is just test. Okay, cool. So we just uploaded this file. We can know that we can't upload the .php files because, of course, of how it works. And essentially, you can say, sorry, only JPEG and PNG files are allowed. So let's get back to the JPEG. Okay, so let's send it again and, you know, it will 100% work. There you go. So in this website, if you actually realize what has happened, we basically call move uploaded file before we even check whether the PHP is the file extension. So we do save the file before we even check it. And it gives us a nice little window from here to here before it gets deleted. For example, the website might actually have something like some other code before it even actually tests whether the PHP is the extension. And this is a very realistic scenario. So let's get going. What I'll do is I'll try to upload an HTML file with just a button saying 1337. And basically I'll go here and put instead of login to a JPEG, I'll put login to .html and let's click send. But would you notice after a while we see, sorry, only JPEG and PNG files are allowed. No problem. Let's take this right here, login to HTML and let's just put it right over here so we can access the file right after we upload it. So we basically have enough milliseconds to reach from here to here before it actually gets the unlink. So let's get going. So right now I'll go over his arrow and I'll send this tab entirely in parallel, meaning two requests at the exact same time, hoping this one would be reached before this one. So let's get going, send in parallel and boom, we see, okay, it's not found. Let's send it again again until you basically send this like until you actually get it and as you can see we hit it basically even though it right here it says only jpeg and png files are allowed we basically still see button get uploaded so what do we do now the lab description says right over here that we need to see the contents of the file slash home slash carlo slash secret so we can do that well by calling basically this little php code which i got right over here for this video so let's replace this right over here with dot php and after we have done that, we can essentially send this now request and basically try to upload the .php file. But .php file essentially is similar to HTML because it's not allowed. So I don't see a reason why we wouldn't basically 
I'll allow for this to work. And to top it all off, we basically will have remote code execution because we're trying to access a .php file. And if you remember, this is basically a Apache, I think. Yeah, Apache on the Ubuntu. And of course, this runs PHP locally. So we can basically send this in parallel and hope that we get the secret. So let's send. And I don't think, oh my God, we did it in the first try. So we can now copy this right over here go back to the lab, submit solution, okay, and boom, there you go. We just solved this lab. And this just shows the vulnerability there was with basically having a race condition because I love to play with race conditions so much. We basically have a small window between these two and we need to send these requests in the exact same time to basically reach them. And in the realistic scenario, it will probably be milliseconds and you probably do need to write your own Python code to do all of this. But I think for this particular scenario, I think, you know, burp is just fine and sending these requests in parallel will work perfectly. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you will like it. Stay safe. Stay responsible. Don't worry. Don't don't forget to stay responsible, actually. Uh, and as always, yeah, peace. Oh, and by the way, make sure to subscribe, though. We're trying to hit 50k. So yeah, make sure to subscribe and support me.